everybody, and welcome back to Vinny Adventures. I'm Vinny, and today we're venturing back into the world of PNF 404 for Pikmin 3. In the last episode, we collected all of the remaining fruit in the entire game, and hey, once more, Louie. And in this episode, we are going to head into the very last area of the entire game, the Formidable Oak. I cannot believe that this episode has finally come. This series has come and gone so quickly. Now, I knew that it was going to be a short series. I knew that the game was going to take roughly 20 to 24 days, depending on how efficient I was. And it's looking like it's going to take about 23 days total, um, which is pretty damn good. So I'm really happy with that, but I'm also kind of sad because it really has come and gone quite quite quickly um but let's not dwell on that too much let's just go ahead and check in it looks like we've gathered all of the food there is to find on this planet yay us we'll bring the seeds back to kopai thanks to us our planet is saved but we shouldn't celebrate just yet if we don't recover the cosmic drive key before our juice runs out we won't be able to return home i suppose we'll need to be more systematic in our search Yep, we have one thing standing in our way. We still need to find Captain Olimar and our Cosmic Drive Key. Otherwise, we're stuck on PNF 404 for the rest of our lives until we run out of juice and die a horrible, horrible death of starvation. But we are not going to let that happen. Instead, we are going to land in the Formidable Oak and we are going to hopefully find Captain Olimar. Oh man, guys. Now, I will just go ahead and say that I had a very, very unfortunate... Uh, well, let's just say I've already had a an attempt at this day, and within like the first two minutes, I basically failed the day. And I'm gonna go ahead and refrain from showing you that footage, because I don't want to spoil what's coming up. But I might attach that to the end of the video, just so you guys can see that fail. It was very, very, very... Uh, well, it, it, it was it was problematic, to say the least. Uh, so Captain Olimar's signal is coming from somewhere inside that massive wooden tower. According to Louie, yes. We can't afford to waste any time. Onward. All right. So with this day and oh God, my my Wiimote has gotten a little bit out of sync. And oh, this it's happening again. Oh. Oh, because ugh, the batteries on my motion sensor have died. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. Yeah, that actually happened in my previous recording of this day too. My my Wii Motion um my my Wii Mote sensor got like all weird, and I was like, why is this happening? And I guess I didn't notice that. It was because the, the, I have the wireless Wii motion sensor bar, and uh, its batteries died on me, so that's what happened. But anyway, you're going to notice that today, this squadron is actually going to be relatively even. On this day and the day to come, I like to have a relatively even squadron, because you're going to need all different types of Pikmin, and it is just nice to have 20 of each, just in case you lose some. But, let's go ahead and head on up here, and I want to say something really quick. I am from Arizona, born and raised. I don't live there currently, uh, but it is really nice seeing the Arizona Sonoran-type desert, and I'm assuming that this is that's what this is modeled after. It's, it's nice to see it represented in a video game so beautifully. Now, unfortunately, we don't spend a whole lot of time outside to be able to see you know, the cacti and all of the foliage and the sand and, and the sky and everything, but you do get a little bit of a glimpse of it, and it's used in mission mode a little bit, and I just think that that's really cool. I just kind of wish that this area was a little more fleshed out, that maybe um, this wasn't the final area and there was near. I don't know, like, I, I just, I really like, now that I have moved away from the desert, whenever I go back and visit it, I can always appreciate its beauty a little bit more than I could when I actually lived there. Because when you live somewhere, you kind of just get tired of it, and you f you start, like, looking at all the flaws, and, you know, not really looking at the, the pros of it, and I don't know, just, you know, don't take the place that you live for granted, because when you leave, you're gonna, you know, 
probably look back on it and be like, I actually missed that. And when you do go back and visit, you're going to realize just how beautiful it actually is. The world's not perfect, but the many different biomes around the planet really, really add diversity and just make it beautiful. So, like, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Just, just don't take things for granted. Go out and explore. See the world. Love where you are. Love where you adventure to. Just... Love everything. Have a nice time in the world. Even though video gaming is great, there's there's nothing like going outside and just appreciating the beauty of planet Earth. Anyway, that was such a weird tangent, but let's go ahead and get back to this data file. This is Captain Olimar. I spotted some glittering gold material on top of the tree. I think I smell treasure. I'll head up there first thing tomorrow to investigate. Louis is refusing to go on for some reason. That's a little weird. But I'm not going to let him come between me and some undiscovered riches. Captain Olimar. Well, it looks like Captain Olimar, despite Louie kind of giving him a little bit of a, hey, maybe we shouldn't do that, went on ahead and now he's missing. So that sounds a little bit suspicious. And Oh, see, look at that background over there. That is so beautiful. Oh, but look at this. Look at what we have here. Captain Olimar, he's out cold. And what's that thing doing to him? <laughs> I have no idea. We need to talk to him, though. Let's hurry and bring Olimar back to the Drake. Alright, so we have a very, very strange looking creature over there. Kind of hovering over Olimar. We have no other way to go but either back or down, so what do you say we jump on down, guys? Oh, that's not good. Did you see that? That thing ain't Olimar. But maybe we can save him if we defeat it. Alright, so for this, I actually want to disband my Pikmin. I want to take... Ooh. Oh, no, 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 stop it, guys, stop it, guys. I, I really want to do something very specific here that requires... Ugh. I need to get, like, over here. Okay, can I, can I just only have the wings? Okay, I only have the wings. Now, I want to take my wings and I want to rush them at this thing. Now, the reason I am using the wings and the wings only is because eventually... Um, okay, come on, wings. Come on, guys, like, go, go, go. I really, 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 really only want the wings to do this. There is a very, very important reason. Come on, guys, go, go, go. All of you, please. All of you, go, 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 go. Okay, okay, maybe, oh, did I do it right? I think, ah. Okay, I wanted wings on Captain Olimar, and you'll see why. The Pikmin are behaving strangely. It seems they don't know which way to go. Then someone had better show them the way. Oh boy. I'll take care of it. Come on, Pikmin, to the SS Drake. So Brittany now has a flag above her head. This is introducing... Right, in that case, we... Yes, the captain and I will cover you. This is an example of a brand new mechanic that we are seeing once and once only in Pikmin 3. Basically, whatever Pikmin you have carrying Captain Olimar, they will always follow Brittany and Brittany alone. The idea here is that you want to get Captain Olimar through this cave system that is coming up ahead. Because, as Brittany says, okay, we can't ride the geyser while carrying Olimar, so we'll have to take a new route back to the ship. Apparently, despite the fact that these are winged Pikmin and they can fly back to the Drake with Captain Olimar, we for some reason can't, and the game will not let us, so we do have to make our way through the cave system. Now, command the Pikmin carrying Captain Olimar, and should one of our captains fall in battle, i.e. lose all of their health, Brittany will no longer be the beacon. It will then go to Charlie. If Charlie falls in battle, it will then be all on Alf's shoulders. Now, you'll see why this is important in a minute. Brittany is going to go ahead and head into the cave. Now, unfortunately, I wanted to have 10 wings on Captain Olimar immediately there, but I didn't quite do it correctly, so we're going to have to catch up with her and get the rest of our of our wings on there if possible, because we want Captain Olimar to be able to travel as quick as possible. Because look who's back. Oh, what is that? 
Could this be an ally of the creature we just battled? I think it's more than just an ally. It has the exact signal. Does that mean this life form is invincible? I don't know, but we'd best make make our way out of here, stat. Right, emergency retreat. But we mustn't forget about Brittany. All right, guys, the mysterious life form is now going to chase us relentlessly through the dungeon ahead. However, he will only chase Captain Olimar. It will only chase Captain Olimar. This creature is not interested in our Pikmin, nor in our captains. It is only interested in Olimar. So, what I want to do here is I want to command Brittany basically by herself, if possible. Oh, no, 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 no. This, this is not good. You know what? In fact, let's just... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shoot. I forgot how this worked. Okay, this is what happened. This is what happened earlier. Okay, um... Brittany, go that way. Come on, Brittany. All um, Brittany, 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 Brittany. Where? Okay, Brittany, Brittany, Brittany. You need to come over here. Come on, Pikmin. We basically just want to stay as far away from this creature as possible. And this is kind of easier said than done. And I'm going to be spending a hell of a lot of time on my mini map, guys. It's 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 very strange, but you'll see what I mean because. Basically here, oh boy, boy, boy. All right, we've got that uncovered. Um, okay, Brittany, where, okay. You can see on the map where this creature is. Now with Brittany and Brittany alone, I want to take her and she's gonna have to kind of like get around these guys if possible. She's, she's just, come on. She's just, come on Pikmin, all of you over here. All of you, all of you, come on. Come on, come on, you can make it, you can make it. Let's grab this data file. Oh, I'm so stressed. I hate this. I hate this day, guys. I will say that right now, and I'm going to use this data file as a place to relax. This day stresses me out because you are constantly juggling between not having Captain Olimar get caught. If Captain Olimar gets caught, you have to attack the life form and free him. And if he gets it all the way back to the beginning of the dungeon, the day is automatically over and you lose. Which is what happened to me. And I guess I could show that clip here right now really quick because it was really terrible. Normally? Norm- Oh, come- Oh, come- Oh. Wait. Oh no! Wait! How did we leave? How did we leave Olimar? Oh, come on. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no. We gotta go back and get him. We gotta go back and get him. We have to go back and get him. I actually- I don't even know how to do this. I don't- I don't know. I've never had this happen before. Oh no! Oh god, I'm so stressed. Oh come on, this music is not helping. This music is so not helping. So not helping. Oh, oh, he's beh- wait a minute, what? How? Oh, oh, that's bad! Oh, that is not work- okay, um... Oh, he's gonna just carry him all the way back, isn't he? Oh, this is such a waste of time. Oh, this is such a waste of time. Can I- can I seriously not do anything about this? Like, I can't- okay. Oh, wait. I'm damaging him a little bit. Wait, no, why are you- why are my Pikmin being thrown off- okay, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Can we not- can we not rush him like this? Oh, yeah, we- we totally can! Wait, 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 wait! Go! Go, 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 go! Oh, oh, he's making it back to the beginning. Alright, I guess I can show this off. Even though I really didn't want to. This is what happens when he manages to get Olimar, and I'm really hoping... Oh, come on! Wow. So yeah, as you can see, that is what happened, and I do not want that happening to me again. So, uh, it's invincible when it's transparent. Rescue Pikmin who have been absorbed by calling them with the whistle. Okay, that's fine. Now, Brittany, the, the Pikmin are going to follow Brittany, so I'm gonna have her go, like, essentially here for now. And then with the rest of these guys, we need to just... Ooh, okay, we need to... I need to really pay attention to, to where Brittany is and not, not, uh, oh wow, that thing is actually eating Pikmin. Okay, go, 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 I should probably be using red potion here. Okay, Brittany, 
Brittany, it's time. I'm gonna have you go here. Probably up here again. And the music will get louder if you're Pikmin- Oh, by the way, everything in this dungeon will just kind of turn into the same substance that the mysterious life form is made out of when you defeat it. You can't carry enemies back to base or anything. Which is kind of strange. It leads you to believe that all of the enemies in this area are actually made out of the same material that the mysterious life form is made out of, which is very, very strange. But yeah, there is that. Okay, so now... Basically, now that I'm over here... Okay, do I even need to go that way? Okay, there are bomb rocks there, so I feel like I should do that. Oh, but you know what? I know of something that's up there instead. So, we're gonna go back to Brittany. I wanna see how she's doing. I am just gonna have her go there for now. This- and I'm sorry guys, this is going to be a lot of back and forth. It just- that's kind of the nature of this day, unfortunately. It's a lot of back and forth. Um... Okay, now we go back to Brittany. Brittany's there. So now I want to jump down. And now that those guys are there, we're going to go all the way around. And basically, I am just going to now make a full loop with Brittany the entire way. Um, attacks are only effective when it's gold colored. Okay, yeah, that's that's talking more about the mysterious life form, but we're not. We hopefully don't want to attack it in its current state. Um, let's go ahead and throw... Oh! 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 What? 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 No, 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 no! Sheer grubs! Oh, dang it! Oh, come on! Leave- leave my Pikmin alone! Leave my Pikmin alone! Okay, Brittany, are you- okay, you're where you need to be, so now I'm going to have her go back there. Hopefully the mysterious life form will just follow her around in a circle. Um, there are some bomb rocks here, and I do want to grab them. Oh, I'm so, so stressed this day. I hate it, guys. I'm really sorry. I don't want to be, like, super negative here, but I really, really, really hate this day. I don't, I don't like this mechanic. I don't like how pretty much up until this point, Pikmin 3 has been kind of, I don't want to say chill, because that's not really the right word that I'm looking for, but it hasn't been quite this stressful up until this point um so yeah it's just not my favorite day in the grand scheme of things and oh i see you now this i believe is this an icy blowhog what is this a watery blowhog yes it is actually that is very strange we haven't seen one of these before i know that these are in pikmin 2 but not in Pikmin 3 up until this point, so this is actually kind of interesting. Now, my goal here is to just, again, keep Brittany away from the mysterious life form and make my way through the this system of, of tunnels and such. So, I want to defeat enemies along the way, if I can. It's just a good thing- oh! Oh! Oh god, that's a fiery blowhog! What? Okay, I wasn't really paying attention. Was not really- Super paying attention. Come on guys. You, you need to kill the- oh, oh, no, no all of you all of you all of you get away from that Oh, man. Oh, that was such a waste of a bomb rock. Oh, man Okay, Brittany. Oh, yeah, we need to jump down first. That's right jump down And then we're gonna have you go there Okay, hopefully he'll still be following her around. Okay, so um, I'm gonna- you know what? I hate these things. I am just going to use these bomb rocks to destroy these thi- and- ooh, no, 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 I need- I need- I need- I need- I need this. Okay, Brittany has arrived. That's good news for us. That is very, very good news for us. Okay. Yes, we're gonna have some Pikmin work on that. And now, Brittany, we're gonna have you go back over here. Oh, I hate this day. Have I mentioned that I hate this day? I really do. I, I don't find this day fun almost at all, really. Um, come on, yellows. You, you need to get onto this this swooping snitch bug. Come on, come on, come on. All of you, all of you, please get on it. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there is another one. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on, everybody, everybody, everybody. Why? Why? Oh, oh no! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, this is so- Oh, they're all dead. They're- Oh, how did- Okay, they didn't die. Somehow they didn't die. Okay, Brittany. Ooh, she's very close. 
She's very close. Okay, yes, I know we have to transport Olimar. I get it. I understand. Now, there is something that I see that I want to do because this will actually help us quite a bit. Uh, where is it? Is it through here? Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm actually not sure. Uh, come on, gate. Man, this, these gates, I feel like they take, now where, okay. They're, ah, right here. Okay, so it is, it is back the other direction and that's fine. Okay, Brittany's where she needs to be, but I think she's okay for like another second. Oh, this day. This day. Come on. Come on, Pikmin. Let's go. Break the wall. Okay, we've broken the wall. Now, what I want to do is probably transport Brittany. Yeah, I need to transport Brittany. Okay, so Brittany, go there. Uh, I need all of these Pikmin to come over here. And they need to push this paper bag down. This is going to allow us to have a bigger loop for Brittany to essentially go around. Which means I will not have to have her go places quite nearly as often. Which is which is really good news for us. Now, I feel like I'm missing Pikmin. But, oh no. No, I guess Brittany has, has those Pikmin. Wait, 11 Pikmin? Where am I missing one Pikmin at? I f I'm missing a Pikmin. So oh, behind the gate. Come here. Come here, you. Right, we needed to go into this gate anyway. Oh, oh, no, 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 Go away. I hate these things. We've got some scutter chucks here. Come on. Come on. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Um, there's... Oh, 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 it's close, isn't it? Oh, it's close. It's so close. Oh, no. Come on, guys. Come on. I need you to get a move on. All right. Now that, that we have made this big circle, we are going to have Brittany... Oh, that was close. I wasn't paying nearly enough attention. One, two, three. That's probably bomb rocks, I would imagine. So... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. Those things are just relentless. They they really get your Pikmin quickly, don't they? Okay, Brittany. Let's check on you real quick. Okay, she's still all right. She, she appears to be okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, come on, Sheer Grub. Male Sheer Grubs are the worst. They are the worst. They just, oh, man. They kill your Pikmin so easily. And it's okay that we're losing some Pikmin. Like, I'm not too worried about it. Okay, Brittany, we're gonna have you go this way now. I think, yeah, I think it's safe to go this way. We just need to keep an eye on the mysterious life form at all times. And I'm actually doing okay in the way of time. And what, what have these yellows over here? What have they uncovered? They have uncovered bomb rocks. So while those guys are working on the wall, I am gonna go back and grab these, uh, these yellows back here, which hopefully have the bomb rocks in tow. Do they? Uh, yes, they do. Okay, guys. Good, good, good. Now, I could have used these bomb rocks to blow open the wall quicker. I mean, there, there, there definitely is. Uh, okay, let's go to Brittany. Where's Brittany at? Where? Oh, okay, there's the mysterious life form. So now, um, we can... I think I can go this way, and I think that this is, this is okay. Um, boop, boop, boop. All right. <laughs> I, I get a little stressed again, if I haven't mentioned this already. I'm a little stressed. Okay, this is another data file from Captain Olimar. This golden glittering life form has taken a real shine to me. It doesn't seem dangerous, but it also won't let me go for some strange reason. I guess I've always gotten along well with animals, but this is kind of pushing it. Oh no. I thought I deactivated the force sleep mode. <sighs> And then he falls asleep. His four sleep mode has activated. Oh boy. So that's kind of just what's been happening to him. Now, is this where I want to be already? Oh man, I think it is. Oh, I think it actually is. Yes. We have actually... Okay, another another Captain Olimar log. In a dark place where I can barely see my own feet, I discovered a familiar plant. If I recall correctly, they're called Blumin Bluminous stemples, and they bloom under a strong light. Is there anything nearby capable of generating such a light? Yes, we do have a yellow Pikmin that can generate electricity, but uh, I don't think that this is actually where I want to be yet, because we, we have not fully opened up the area yet. Okay, Brittany's there. The life form is on its way. I'm actually, believe it or not, I'm gonna let... Mm. Now, here's the thing. This life form can actually crawl over this little bit. It can cheat. So I kind of want it to get a little bit closer to Brittany at the moment. And ooh, can I kill this thing with a bomb rock, I wonder? 
I I wonder if this is a thing. Is that a thing? Oh, it's a thing! Okay, okay, Brittany, Brittany's there. The life form is really close. So now, oh, no, 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 no. We want to go this way, though. Oh, no, no, no. We want to go that way. Okay, go there. Okay, and yes, we only have a quarter of the day left. Um, here we go. We've got something to break open with some rocks. I'm kind of also mostly just winging this area, if I'm being honest with you guys, because I don't 100% remember where everything is. Um, which kind of sucks. Ooh, I know what I can use these bomb rocks for if I have any left. Oh, I only have two left, though? Oh, man, this is kind of a shortcut, and I forgot that this was a thing, unfortunately. All right, well, we're just gonna have to deal with that being not quite 100% locked down. If I could break down this wall, I'll be able to cut through this labyrinth and save myself some time. I wonder if there are any bomb rocks around. Yes, that is why I needed the bomb rocks, and I really should not have used that other bomb rock... Um, on that arachnode, but it is what it is. And where are... <gasps> watch out! Okay, watch out for Olimar! Alright. That's fine. Nope, we want to go this way. There we go. Okay, go there. Whew, I'm stressed. If you haven't been able to tell, I'm a little stressed. Okay, so I need to head back over here. We're missing fragments somewhere. And I genuinely don't remember where they are, but my my plan for today is to build this bridge because you have to build the bridge. Wait a minute, where where are the rest? Of, okay, seriously though, please. Okay, those those are there. There's no fragments over here, are there? No, no fragments there. No fragments there. Where are we missing fragments at? They're not... They're not over there, right? Oh man, I can't believe this. Where... Where on earth am I missing fragments at? I'm missing fragments for part of this bridge, but I don't... I don't have... Oh, oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. We, we, we want to use the, the mini-map. There's none there, right? Like, I, I dug those up. Those were bomb rocks, okay? We know that for sure. Those fragments were there. There's no more left. So... So what gives, game? There's no reason to, like... Like, I know we can do this. Um, okay, stop. Stop going. Where, where is Brittany? Is she safe? Uh, she's not really safe, but she's not really in immediate danger either. Let's let's go ahead and throw some Pikmin on this thing individually. I don't really think there's a reason to pushing this down. Uh, okay, Brittany's in trouble. Brittany is in trouble. Brittany needs to go this way now. Nope, she needs to go like right here. As long as I have this first area mostly unlocked, I'm okay. Oh, 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 wing. Oh, shoot. Okay. All right, we need to make sure that we call the 10 Pikmin back in Brittany's squadron, like, before the end of the day. But seriously, guys, I have no idea where where these, these fragments are. Like, for real. I'm actually a little frustrated. I miss- it looks like I'm missing, like, one fragment. Like, do you guys see that? There's not, like, a fragment there, is there? What gives? Is there like a Pikmin st- Oh. Oh, I see it. Oh, I think I see it. I think I see it. Man, okay, well. Looks like we're not gonna have time, but I think that that mound right there is actually what I want. So we're gonna call Brittany back, and unfortunately for us, at the end of the day, Captain Olimar gets retaken. Now... Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the second day in, in, well, you'll see. Because, surprise, surprise, once we get out of this cavern system, we're not actually done with the day. But I do need to build the bridge. Like, the bridge has to be built so that Brittany can cross over there. It's kind of important. Um, oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Huh. Can you guys tell that uh, this day stresses me out? I mean, I, as if I haven't said it enough, but like, 
This is a mechanic in Pikmin 3, and I guess I have a little bit of breathing room to talk about this. It's- this- this mechanic was not really in this game up until this point, and I think that it's really unfortunate that they used such an unfun, stressful mechanic as the essentially last boss fight. Um, it looks like we've cleaned out all the edible matter in accessible areas. From now on, we're going to be consuming our juice supply. If we don't find the cosmic drive key soon, get back to Kopai. Yeah, I know, we're gonna starve. Um, but yeah, it's just, like, this entire time it's been fruit collecting and enemy killing and everything else, and then they decided to do this, like, weird mechanic of carrying Olimar back and having the thing chase Olimar and having a, a captain. It's just, it's a weird mechanic. I don't like it. Not to say that I don't have fun. It, it feels really great and rewarding once you're done with the game and you beat this, this last area, but it is so stressful. And I have done this area in one day, um, but it's very difficult to do when you were commentating, I'll say that much. It is so difficult to do. In our attempt to rescue- who's this speaking? This must be Alf, right? In our attempt to rescue Captain Olimar, we encountered a mysterious life form that really seemed to have it in for him. It seems strange that this being would be targeting a Hokutoshin. Maybe we can find some answers when we get Captain Olimar back to the Drake. Alf. Alright guys, well that just about does it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode, remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time for the final episode of Pikmin 3. See you later!